Guys, do you like to laugh? Yes, yes you do. Do you like to clean? Of course you do. Who doesn't love a good cleaning? Well, Rollywood Cinemas is bringing the two things you love the most together. It's a clean comedy show rated PG. To get your tickets, head to rollywoodmovies.com. They're having a comedy night Thursday, November 17th. Doors opening at 6.30 and the show goes from 7.30 to 9. Some of the comedians include Mark Brandy, Andy Forrester, Kevin Kinner, and Matt White. And just so you know, a percentage of the tickets go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and who can't get behind that? The tickets are just $10, and the regular menu will be available for purchase, and I can tell you firsthand, it's damn delicious. And that damn could be said, so be careful at this clean comedy show. Again, bring your tickets to show at the door. We'll see you there. You guys, let's laugh together. Rollywoodmovies.com. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs> got him got him all right hey so, speaking of back on it i'm back on it i don't fucking care so i'm sean i'm alex and i'm back on it i'm you're alone. i'm back you missed me i i did no i didn't yeah you did i listened i don't even know what you're talking about you weren't about it you weren't about it look you and canon just had zero chemistry i hate canon yeah almost as much as i hate rick yeah and I really well, hate Rick. You really hate Rick. God. If I was in a room with Rick and Hitler, and I had a gun with two bullets, I would shoot Rick twice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Real nice one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. It's funny because Rick's Jewish. Oh, is he really? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> That's crazy. I always thought he was anti-Semitic. Uh, he's both. Uh, well, you know, he has also a contrarian. That makes sense. Right. Anyways, this is I'll Have What He's Having. We sold out. Is it still I'll Have What He's Having? We are still called I'll Have What He's Having. I'll Craft What He's Beer Shopping? We're thinking about changing the name to that. Yeah. We have to change the acronym then. And we'll probably have to be on a different day of the week. What are you doing with your eye? I, it really itches. Oh, this I'm is good now. This is good podcasting. It is. Uh, We've so got we'll, people in the room. Well, yeah, being that's weird, what I was going to address that as well. They're just being weird, silent fucks. They're just being silent and strange. Uh, I'm, at, I'm in a band called The O'Wills. And Devin's over here. He's my guitar player. I'm pointing because we're on camera. It yeah. It works that way. Yeah, it works that way, right? <clears throat> and, uh... Oh, God. And John Skinner is no, here. No, he's got pizza. Uh, he really did get pizza. Also of the O'Wales. Oh. You only brought in a single slice. Because he's what? hoarding that shit. You have a bite? You sorry sack of shit. We told John to leave so we could start <laughs> this podcast because he was waiting on a pizza and it was going to disrupt things, but... And then he brought it in to disrupt the stuff. Any he, oh my god, I'm so mad at you. You're just eating pizza in the center of the room, you know, in a room full of hungry dudes without pizza. I tried to right. finish it before I walked in, but not hard pizza. enough, did you, huh? Nah, did you, huh? Not hard enough, did you, huh? <laughs> Very fresh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know the sound of people chewing makes really good podcasts. Yeah, just keep chewing. No way you can hear it from here. Yeah, we can. I can hear. It. Yeah, go in the corner. <laughs> You're not out of the room yet. Please leave. There's a window right there. Just jump out head first. <laughs> You'll be fine. All right. It's it, We're back on it. I'll have what he's having. We did sell out. We did sell out. Oh, there's another person. My roommate, best friend, and bandmate, Three Will titles. Bachelor. Yeah. What did do? Yeah. He's in the... You might have heard that. You might not have. He's really far off. Yeah. He's on the far side. Of BevLab B. Yeah. Really far out in BevLab B. Almost in BevLab C. He could be in C. Well, the borders are... I am aided and abetted, so, you know. Oh, wow. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. <clears throat> what are we doing? Uh, we're drinking... I used to live right down the road from this, as did Devin. One of my favorite places. One of my favorite breweries. Trophy Brewing Company. Yeah. The Trophy Wife. I thought we were drinking Schlitz. You're drinking Schlitz because you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I literally am. That's <laughs> you're garbage people. It's <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm garbage people. Uh, I wish you wouldn't do that because it's really distracting. <laughs> Sean's feels... rolling a a weight 
like a ten pound hand weight with his foot on the on the floor. I'm wearing bedroom shoes. I've worn bedroom shoes all day today because I'm a winner. Hey, your pants look like shit. These pants. So <laughs> let me tell you the story about why I'm wearing these pants. Sure. Let's let's. Everyone wants to know. The other day at work, uh, I ripped my pants. <clears throat> I don't know how, but there's about a three inch rip in the end seam. I saw that. It was massive. You showed it to me. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. So I was like, my brother gave me a pair of jeans, so I'm just going to wear those. And I put them on, and I was like, these are kind of baggy. Wait, you only have one pair of pants? Well, I have another pair that are ripped. So you have two ripped pairs of pants? Well, this isn't a ripped pair. These are just massive. No, not those. You just acquired those. Yeah. But you acquired those because you don't have any non-ripped pants? My brother gave me some pants like a week ago. And I was like, I'll probably never wear these. Why do you keep getting pants from your brother? He gives me a lot of pants. Buy some pants. No, nah, my brother keeps giving me <laughs> pairs of pants. I don't need to. How old are you? <laughs> They're how not even hand-me-downs. He just doesn't like them. The issue isn't how old I am. It's why does my brother buy an obscene amount of pants? <laughs> to make up for your lack of pants yeah. buying. He's your older brother, right? Yeah. Well, clearly he's just looking out for you who can't buy a pair of pants. <laughs> I mean... Clearly I can't. Look at how big these pants are. Those are well, clearly he can't. Right. <laughs> these are huge. They said 3430. These are clearly like 3836s, man. They're like bundled up all underneath my bedroom shoes and stuff. Relax fit. You look like Shaggy Too Dope. Do I have on I do have on face paint right now. I think well, can the viewers, listeners see can we, are they we haven't talked about that. Are you gonna crack a beer? I'm gonna. Are you gonna oh, grab the right fucking okay, beer? Hold on, hold on, let me down the schlitz. Ugh, you piece of dog shit. On a hot summer sidewalk. Piece of dog schlit. <laughs> I'm saving that. I had to swallow first. I bet you did. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you hate the gays or something? No. I'm just saying you're probably gay. And I'm cool with that. I accept you. Thanks. Yeah. Alright, so what is this exactly? This is Trophy Wife. Yeah. It, I'm going to be honest, the can looks a lot like Miller High Life. It looks exactly like Miller High Life. Exact same scheme. But, I know it's going to be at least as good. What is? Oh, it's a Session IPA. 4.9. You like how it's not printed on the can, it's just a sticker? It's a, it's a sticker. I, know it's I like that it says more than just a pretty package. And it looks like Miller High Life. Which is the champagne of beers. <laughs> That's a lot better than Schlitz. I bet. <clears throat> That's good. So, I'm not going to lie, I've had this a thousand times. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. Trophy Brewing is the joint. They also yeah. have really good pizza. It's uh, Speaking nice. of pizza... Yo! Yo! Look at this do! Look at this do! <laughs> hey, go fuck yourself. Oh. That's for good podcasting right there. Shit. You or, can. wait... Bring us pizza. Better idea. Yo, no, you can't be eating pizza on this podcast. We can do what we want. That's gross. This I'll is... have what he's having. Right. And, and you have pizza. pizza. You decided to join us tonight, and you're having Shit. pizza. So. That's fucking great logic. I can't fight with that. Yeah. Although you and I are not sharing trophy wife. No, we're not. No. We no. can. We do. It's good. It is really good. I like it. I've had it a many, many uh, times. I've had it more than once. I really don't know what to say about it, because it's something I drink a lot. Uh, trophies... <clears throat> Everything's good at Trophy. We've had this beer together at Trophy. At Trophy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Devin, you were also there, actually. Can you explain what Trophy is for the, the viewers slash listeners? Are they viewers or are they listen? We'll table it. I guess. Uh, trophy is a local brewery that's like... I used to live right down the road from it. I went there kind of a lot. <clears throat> they have banging pizza. It's banging. It's banging. It's such solid They pizza. have good mixed nuts. They do. What else can you say? Like, they just do their own thing very well. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Crafty Beer, thanks for the trophy. Yeah, Crafty Beer Shop sponsored this. <clears throat> we sold out for them. We're still sold out. We're I still think we're, selling. You know what, though? I think we're off contract after this. This is the last one, unless they decide to re-up it. Yeah, they should re-up. Because <clears throat> I've been liking this beer. But at the same time, I'm looking at a list. I hope no one's forgot. We... Forgotten. We did knock out Jaeger and Cheerwine. <laughs> oh my god! Jesus. Do you need to go to the hospital? I'm dead. <laughs> Great. 
I'm gonna pour the rest of this out for my homie that just died. Uh, next, what? Jameson and Sundrop. <sighs> we did that fucking name. Yeah, you know what's gonna be fucking terrible? This is episode three. Uh, for people that haven't heard. Yeah, we're getting off topic here. Uh, <clears throat> we decided we did a special episode. Where we didn't drink anything. Well, we drank beers the whole time. But yeah, we, we were talk. drunk. Yeah. We were pretty drunk, and we we decided to have the next several episodes planned out, where we'd have a a non-alcoholic drink and an alcoholic drink. Then we'd mix them. Whatever they may be. Yeah. And Jaeger so we, and Cheerwine, I feel like, wasn't that bad. No, well, we straight drew these from a hat, so it's not like we planned it. No. We drew them from two hats. Two hats. Two caps. Yo, what would you name Jaeger and Cheerwine? Uh. Like, what would you name that cocktail? Jaeger wine? The Happy German? <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> the Happy that? German? We're a room full of fucking people. I was, I was with you on the Happy German thing more, but I couldn't find anything funny in that. Cheervine? Cheervine. Cheervine? Cheers to Bison. Beer wine? Beer wine. Well, there's no beer, though. No, no. beer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fun fact, we took the rest of that, and Will and I polished that off with some Dr. Pepper. Yo. It, Boy. it was actually really, really solid. No, fuck that. It was, we did, we did, I did uh, put it in the freezer. It that's was... That's basically Jaeger and Cheerwine. Yeah. Cheerwine's just but, cherrier Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck with it. Okay. Well, anyways, I was going to say, episode three is Shotgun Betty, which is a pretty dark beer with orange high C. <laughs> That's not going to be good. That's not going to be good, man. Remember when the old no. English and peach Snapple? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, moon, moonshine <laughs> and a gas station slushy. Uh, wait, that is, is good. that tequila I and Bojangles sweet tea? Yeah, tequila and Bojangles sweet tea. That's gonna make you very sick. Steel Reserve and apple juice. <laughs> oh, no. Not your father's root beer and pumpkin spice. That's the white girl episode. That is, the, Yeah, that is the white girl yeah. episode. That's, that's, that should be the girl. Chad's and Becky's episode. <laughs> I don't get that reference, but thanks for that. <laughs> Where was, oh, uh, Oscar Blue's uh, is that a Pilsner? No, it's Pinner. Pinner? I was I drinking, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't read that. With Crystal Light. Crystal with Crystal Light! light. <laughs> now, I this is gonna be a reminder, bad time. Because Crystal Light, that's the powder that you mix yes. into Yes. Yeah. So you're gonna mix the powder right into it? Oh, no. Well, should we? Yo, I'm uh, saying it comes as a powder form. Yeah. Should we... Tubes. Or we could, are you gonna get the bottles? Cause are we gonna water it down? Are we gonna just... This is a question we'll have to... That's episode 12. I mean, you and I could be dead by then. <laughs> I hope we're going to be dead by well, then. Well, Trump's president, dog. Let's get political about it. Let's, uh, let's not. Let's not. You said you're gay, right? <laughs> yeah, man. I got to leave the country. Mike Pence is coming for my wiener. <laughs> wow. You say he's coming for it or gunning for it? Both. Whatever. Both, yeah. <clears throat> All uh, three. Yeah, he wants to cut my dong off. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's So how's that beer? beer? It's really good. Yeah. Uh, Did you beer? You know, if you're wanting the operation, you could just go with, you could just roll with it, getting it cut off, and then you could become a trophy wife. See how I brought that full circle? You're okay at podcasting. I'm, a, I'm super okay. Yeah. So what you're saying is if Mad Pence decent. cuts my wiener, I could just transition? Can we start calling penises pences? Pences? Penises. Pences. Pences. Menses. What if Pence what if, had... What the fuck are we talking what about? What if Pence had clones? Will we just refer to them as Sixpence? <laughs> <laughs> none the lesser. <laughs> hey, certainly none the richer. None the richer. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Fact checker over here. <clears throat> Thanks for keeping me up. Yeah, I bet it keeps you up. Good joke. These are such a low-hanging fruit This is joke. the... Yeah, okay. What are we doing here? Uh, I'm on Blue Hubert Dog. What are you doing? <laughs> Who let this spot? Who, who are you? I'm sorry. Q2Q? Yo. Who are you? Yo. Look at this dude. Look at this. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> All right, so I guess bring it back to beer again. You're pretty good at that, right? Yeah, I brought it full circle last time. Do it again, because we're... Uh, we're... Drinking a beer is good. Drinking a beer is good. See, I brought that full circle. I just keep picking this fucking sticker. The sticker never throws drink, me off. I've never drank a beer. That had a sticker on it like this. Are you going to peel it off? Underneath I, the sticker. Can. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I swear to glob. Uh. What do you think's under there? I don't know. Why if don't I you have... me do it? You feel something evil? 
Yeah. Probably says Miller High Life. <laughs> <laughs> These are just if, recycled if no Miller High that, Life cans. If no one heard that. He said it probably says Miller High Life. <laughs> I hope everyone heard it. We don't know. We didn't test anything. We I, tested you and I. We sound great. We sound great. I sound great. You sound okay. My voice is fantastic. Your voice is buttery. My voice is angelic. No. Seraphic. No. Celestial. Closer. Dope. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He's drinking the beer. You're drinking the beer too. What's uh? Give me some specs. What specs. Yeah. Is there anything on the can we can? We can read out. Well, we would have like a whole like case. But, right you know. here it says the champagne of beer. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. There it is. <laughs> yep, yep. Miller High Wife, huh? <laughs> I kid. Trophy, we love you. I actually don't even see like a. The this... slogan. Hey, just fun fact. This was brewed at the Maywood. What? Oh yeah. Yeah. Trophy. <laughs> Trophy's like right next to it. Yeah, yeah, well, Maywood Avenue is what I meant, not the Maywood, the venue. Oh, uh, which is also on Maywood Avenue. Well, of course. But yeah, they have a new, uh, it's dope, too. If you're local and you're in Raleigh, you should go to that one. They don't have pizza, though, and that really bums me the fuck out. You know where you should go instead of there? You're going to talk about competing businesses? Crafty Beer Shop. Oh! Nah, you're going to talk, you talked about it. You dumb bitch. Well, I talked about a brewery that they're featuring. I guess they're all, or I guess it's all friends. We're all friends here. Except John. Except Fuck John. John. Fuck you. You got us messed up. Why are you going in on me right now? You never got us pizza. I got you pizza. It's what just waiting this? for Ooh. you to shut your mouth. Go out there and eat it. Well, we could take a break. Uh, let's go get some pizza. Okay. Goodbye. If we, we're back on it, beat you to it. Hey, I don't say that after the break. We're back on it. Back in, on it. We ate some pizza. It looks like you still have uh, a piece of pizza. In I'm hand. still eating pizza. How is it? Good. What's it got on it? It's got mushrooms and pepperoni. Cheese. Can't wait to listen to you chew. Yeah. Uh, I heard that next. I feel like you're already like a loud chewer anyways. Are you that guy? Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> no. You are though, aren't you? No, I should be very quiet. Though. We were uh, talking about, during the break, talking about how... Uh, Sean got in a fight with Aries Spears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a punk ass bitch. What about it? Yeah, he got in a fight with Aries Spears. Yeah. Because you guys are like, you're pretty much the same level. Yeah. Like in the comedy world. It I mean, he did Mad TV, which brought him down several pegs. Yeah. Oh, hey, man. He wasn't on it with. No. So. Let's I mean, see. I'm still relevant. Right, right. What's he doing? Being fat, being awful, picking fights with me. God, you just sound like you're just talking through pizza. I'm talking through pizza right now. God, you're such a chronic masticator. You are a chronic masticator. Does that are we mean done that? yet? I'm just really just waiting for you to stop eating. What's up? This is Mike and Cannon from All Things Pop. Where we're going to talk technology, we're going to talk science, we're going to talk about all those things you never knew you needed to know on the Last Chance Podcast Network. Be sure to check it out, boys. And, and girls. Uh, yeah, girls can come along too. Why not? I can hold it. Okay. <laughs> so we're drinking Trophy Wife by Trophy Brewing here in Raleigh. Provided by uh, Crafty, Crafty Beer, Beer Shop. Shop. You just dropped a mushroom out of your mouth onto your phone. And oh. you're looking for it on the floor. Actually, there's some on the floor too. <laughs> That's a leaf. That's a leaf. It's a leaf? That's okay. a leaf. That okay. was in here. I tracked that in. You that is still me, but... Okay, but at least it's not a mushroom from your mouth. Yeah. You're, you're putting fucking, on masks. You're a fucking mess. Putting on masks, man. Maybe I should get a different co-host, like you did last week. Yeah, that you shit were... sucked. Damn, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sad looking. <laughs> it was okay. It was I brought right. my best, and you just weren't there, man. No, you know was... what? You know what? 90% of any gig is showing up. Where the fuck were you, dog? 90? You're gonna give that 90? Yeah. What else are you gonna fucking do if you're not there? Not be on a podcast. What the fuck are you doing? Sasquatch hunting or whatever? Geocaching? It was fuck my you do? It was my B day. Wah! I'm a year older. I'm closer to dying now. Wah! Shut up. I went and saw brand new. It was good. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm eating a pizza, so. Yeah, and like. 
You're taking the tiniest fucking bites. There, it's finally fucking gone. I thought you were going to put it back out of your mouth. <laughs> I pre-chew it like a mama bird. <laughs> Anyways, we're drinking beer. <clears throat> yeah. Right? Oh, this is the perfect... This is the... Oh, man. We didn't plan that, but... This is the perfect beer accompanying pizza. Or, uh, yeah, pizza accompanying beer. Why don't you try that again? <laughs> the beer go pizza. <laughs> <laughs> It is good pizza, but we ate it with uh, Papa John's. Sorry, Trophy. Yeah. Maybe you should deliver. Hey, good idea. Maybe they should deliver beer. And pizza. Or just beer. Deliver a beer. Yeah. You might be a redneck if. You deliver a beer. You're not from the South, are you? That's the most offensive shit anyone's ever said to me in my whole entire life. (laughs) I'm sorry, man. I don't know. Where are you from? Mansfield, Ohio. Yeah. You talk like that in Ohio? Ohio. What was in the sides and high in the middle? Are you from like fucking Johnston County? <laughs> from Harnett County? Harnett County. Yeah. It's not much better. It's piss, my... piss off. Uh. <clears throat> hey, we're, I'm from the heart of Harnett, Lillington, North Carolina. Yeah? That sounds that's interesting. I'm glad we're telling it on the podcast. Yeah, so if you ever want to pick a fight with me, I won't be there because I don't ever want to go back, but... Mm. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Cool. Yeah, it's Aries Spears, if you're listening. Aries Spears, if you're listening, Sean's calling you out. Look, dog. What you said wasn't cool. What'd he say? You didn't really want me to... I can't repeat it on here, man. He called you a name? Yeah. Was it a racial slur? No, he called me Brian. Because he said, he said I looked like Brian. Mm. And uh, he, kept, he kept vamping on it. And I don't think I looked like Brian. Well, like Brian Pussain? Ah, uh, Ouch. The fartest? No. I could see you as a Brian. Ah, You're mm. literally wearing a sweater that has elbow pads on it. You oversized. Like <laughs> oversized. I get a lot of Zacks. Oversized fucking jeans that my yeah. brother gave me. Some pretty thick ass sideburns going right now. I need to thin that out. You're a Brian. And uh, bedroom Zach. shoes. I look like shit and a half. And I went out in public like this. Yeah. A good portion of Where'd today. you go? Uh, I got ice cream earlier. I went to Baskin Robbins. You went to Baskin Robbins looking like that? <laughs> Hell yeah. I got yeah. Moose Tracks ice cream. You can clean yourself up before went you go to the, to the old 31. I went to, went, <laughs> yeah, I went to the bank, deposited a check. You have, you still do that or you just take a picture? Uh, State Employees Credit Union. They don't do that. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> But it's also, like, the best thing you could do for banking besides that. Just leave. Like, your house right now? Convenience. Oh. Sell your soul for convenience. But then I'd have to, like, be charged money to have money. Just like what we're doing. We're, we're selling our, the soul of our podcast for conveniently having beer provided for us. Yeah, I mean... Yeah? Do you think I should, do you think I should close my account tomorrow? Yeah. Or just never go back to it. Like, don't close it, but just, like, never go back. Well, what's in there? Like, $23? I mean, 24. slightly more than that. 24 Under 1000 $25? I kid you not. She said, do you want to see the balance on both accounts? And I said, no thanks. That's really, really disappointing right now. Yeah, because you, you, that exact thing you just said you posted on Facebook, you must be real proud of that. I mean, a lot of people liked it. A lot mm. of people can identify with it, sure. I guess. sure. All my friends are You're poor. like an internet celebrity now. I mean, why do you think I'm here? That's true. That's how you got this go- job. We're not friends. No. I was like, I'm going to do this podcast, and I'll pick this internet celebrity. Yeah. <clears throat> he got 17 likes on his last post. Yeah. Tell you what, I'm not, actually, I'm not a YouTube celebrity. You guys remember Zenga? Zenga celebrity. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I do. I'm a Zenga celebrity. I'm still guys. on Zenga. Yeah. I post stuff... Frequently. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh... Yo, what's your aim? My aim? Yeah. Uh... Scratch and sniff 95. <laughs> nice. That's good. Yeah. What about yours? <clears throat> Psycho Dog 69. Wow. I had a friend, uh, his name was Matt, and he made his aim name Flippin' Rick 22. <laughs> <laughs> Flippin' Rick. I still remember to this day, like, <laughs> Flippin' Rick 22. My Shit. brother's was 
for Harnett Central from Harnett County. Mm. HC Soccer 24, because he played soccer. Yeah, soccer. Soccer. Drink a soccer. Soccer beer. Soccer beer. Soccer ball. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll fucking follow that. Uh, 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 Manchester United. You're just going to vape in here? I'm just going to vape. There's like eight people in this room. Well, there's a lot of beer going on, and I like to vape when I beer. We're the only ones drinking beer at this point. Nuh-uh, that guy's got a beer. I'm schlitzing it. This guy's schlitzing. Where's my schlitz? I have Fuck a, sh- I have a sh- schlitz. Slits. Can you say the word? Schlitz. Shut up. Oh. Dr. Lipschitz? Lipschlitz? <clears throat> Lipschlitz? Yo, I went back and watched the Rugrats... I was like, I missed so much of this as a kid. Whoa. You can say that with literally any 90s Nick Tim. The parents fought so much. They were okay. They fought a good amount. I was like, man, how did I ever enjoy this as a kid? Is this just normalizing, like, spousal arguments for children? Is that what the purpose of the show is? I don't know what you're getting at, but if you're trying to bash Rugrats, I'm not with you. I'm also, not bashing it. Wasn't Phil and Lil's mom like a closet lesbian? Oh, for sure. Yeah, she had the real submissive husband. And yeah. her grandpa was looking at porno magazines and whatnot. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah man. 15 miles! <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you have a pretty narrow perspective on the story that Rugrats was trying to tell. Yeah, dude. I think the guy was an inventor, but he was also a terrible inventor. Well, he worked at a toy shop or toy factory, but he tried to invent toys. Yeah, he was a fucking failure. And he had to deal with that depression of being a fucking failure you've and having You've really bills. just become a terrible adult. <laughs> <laughs> like, you've lost everything. Santa isn't real. Sorry. Don't say that. Ding-a-ling. You've lost all, all innocence and charm. You're just a jaded prick. <laughs> this beer is delicious. It is really good. Trust say me. how I brought that full circle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're both sipping. <clears throat> Did you finish? I did not. I'm sipping because I let it warm up, but also, it's still solid. It's still solid. It's still really solid. Also, it's not the kind of beer you can chug. I don't think that... The flavor is just there. It's prominent enough that if I did that, I'd feel weird. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. Are you thinking maybe ratings? I was actually going to say, are you thinking maybe ratings? Are you thinking ratings? Maybe? Maybe? And then I was actually going to say, are you thinking ratings? Maybe? Whoa. He crushed it on his head. Yeah, brother. Listeners, Crush he, took, he chugged the can. He went cross-eyed. His eyes rolled up in the back of his head. He channeled the spirit of Hulk Hogan and crushed the can on his head. Brother. Listeners and viewers... Listeners and or viewers, this was the single greatest moment in podcast history. What's the alcohol content on that? Uh, what, like 4.9%. You just pulled that out of your ass? No, it says it on the can. Oh, okay. If you hadn't crushed your can, you, you could it's, see... It's gone. It disintegrated. Yep. It's dust. You know how you can never truly destroy matter? Sure. You just destroyed matter. Yeah, I can. Yeah, he did. Uh, 4.9, it's a session IPA. It's trophy. Almost anything from trophy is good. I'm inclined to give it a high rating. However, it's probably not what I'm reaching for first if I'm at trophy. That's fair. I couldn't really tell you, like, everyone blanking on, like, a lot of their choices right now. They have a... Uh, this a, is their most popular one, I believe. It definitely is. They have a beer called Rhubarbarillo, and it's a rhubarb beer. Holy shit. I haven't had that. If I'm at a trophy brewery, I'm probably not going to go for trophy wife, probably because it's so vanilla. It's not vanilla, but if you're It's so it's so easy to find. Yeah, and if you're look if you're looking for if you're at trophy, it's it's gonna be there every single time. It's not seasonal or anything, it's their go to. It's their bad penny of big boss, if you will. That's fair. Yeah. So that being in mind, it is delicious. I like a good IPA. It's a it's a very good IPA. I don't normally like IPAs, but I really dig this one. Seven. That's I I was actually going to say that. We can't now, bitch. Wow. 7.1. Fuck you. 7.1? Yeah, fuck you. Didn't you say 4.9? Percent alcohol. Who were you talking about? How many, how many IHs would you give this? 
seven. Seven all halves? Seven all halves. Should we recap what that is? I'll let you explain. Uh, the IH meter is, uh, I guess, really what I have it again is factored in. There's a lot of facts. It's very scientific. Extremely science. You have to factor in if you would have it again, if you would have it if you saw your friend having it and you want to have what he's having. Um, and then... This is very science. That's really about it. Science. Yeah, I Does mean... whether or not you would sip it after Shut the shit can... up, you piece of human garbage. Fuck you. Yo, I'm just trying to figure out your scale here. It's our scale, not yours. You stupid. Shave your Idiot. face. Idiot. You look like mess. <laughs> like more than him? No. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, that's really mean. This dude over here robbed Zach Morris and got in a fight with Ari Spears. Shaggy too, Sean. Yeah. Shaggy too, Sean. <laughs> if we're being honest, all right, we talked about it enough. If we're being honest, I picked a fight with Ari Spears. Sure. You picked the fight? Yeah. I thought he came at you, called you Brian. Uh, he called me Brian afterwards. I made fun of him having a... Samsung phone. I told him it was going to catch on fire. And there's no payoff to this. I thought it was going to be really funny. No. That's all that happened. It was I didn't say it was going to be a good story. Oh yeah. All right. I really just said, "Yo, Aries, don't burn up." And then he said, "Shut up, Brian." And that's <laughs> where it went from there. Right. Yeah. And then here we are months later and you guys are still in a big beef and it's very public. This happened like a year and a half ago. Samsung's weren't blown up a year and a half ago, dog. I mean, I predicted it. Checkmate or what? Yo, checkmate. <laughs> Maybe it, it was at least a year. You're full ago. of shit. I don't even think you know Harry Spears. <laughs> I don't know Harry Spears. Seven point one is really your rating. Uh, yeah. Seven point one IHs. Yeah, that okay. extra point <clears throat> one uh, really factors in the eat shit, Alex, that I'm trying to really convey. For anyone looking. Watching? Listening? Sure. Waiting. And they want to give us an opportunity to sell out further? We'll do it. Yeah. Will we not? Every time. If you want us to sell out, we'll do it. We'll change our entire format if you're just like, yo, do this. We will literally fight Aerie Spears. For real. For if real. you want us to. Yeah, if you're like, yo, dude lives at this address, go settle this. Yo, are you ramping this down because you didn't rate it? I did. What, where are you been? He gave it a 7. I gave it a 7.1. Oh. Let's get okay, back to how we would fight Aries. I'm clarifying for the listener. Let's get back to okay. how we would fight Aries Spears. I'd... Question. You would knock on his door. Sure. I would break into the back of his house. While you're talking to him, I would get behind him on all fours. I would give you the signal. You would push him. That's it. Yeah. Then we'd, then we'd laugh. We would laugh? Yo, should we pee on him? If he's knocked unconscious, we pee on him. Okay. But if he still maintains consciousness, we should just leave? Yeah. You don't... You, I figured we were going to pee on him in such a way that it made it seem like he pissed himself. Like, just pee on... You and I pee on his crotch? Yeah, pee right on his crotch. Yeah. So he wakes up and it's wet and there's piss and he's like, oh, I pissed myself. Yeah, I had... He would never expect that two dudes pissed on his crotch. <laughs> no, he would be like, I pissed enough for two dudes. I really had to That piss. just drank Trophy Brewing Company beers. Right. Provided by... Provided by Crafty Beer Company. Thanks. Crafty Beer Shop, excuse me. Uh, it's not a company, it's a shop. Shoppy. There's two shops. That's a company. Sh Shoppany. <coughs> Crafty Beer Shop. He would say that. He would be like, I've never expected that this would happen to me. There's no way that two grown adult men... Pissed on my crotch. After drinking Trophy Brewing Company's Trophy Wife, provided by... Oh, you're looking at me? Crafty Beer Shop. V via Wendy. You fucked it all up. Uh, did I? That's exactly what you wanted me to say. It was a not. You said, oh, you're looking at me? Oh, well, I didn't know you were looking at me. We made eye contact. I thought you were going to We were making eye contact. Checkmate, am I right? Nah. No. Shut you up, John. I, 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 I can't agree with you because that sweater has elbow pads. Elbow pads. EPs over here. You guys are just really funning on me. You putting out your first EP? You're just hecking me out <laughs> yo, right Yo, yo, <laughs> <laughs> He's going in on me so hard, but he's talking to y'all about making fun of him for the sweater. Yeah, you're not a person. You don't matter. I'm just saying, if you're going to push you Aries Spears He's got to deflect over, the... Yeah, he's got to... Yeah. Yeah. If you're pushing anybody over, Sean's the one on the ground. Because he's got elbow pads. Well, he probably didn't scuff his bows. I was about to say, let's be real. 
you guys are all making fun of this. And then when you fall over, because Aries Spears pushed you down. And I get a strawberry on my elbow. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be there to kiss it. I'm going to say you should have had elbow pads. That's true. Yeah. We about done? I guess so, yeah. The ambiguity of it is, are we going to continue the list next time, or are we still selling out? We won't know. Dead fat John Ritter is the only one that knows. I guess we'll find out. Peace. This has been a Last Chance Podcast production brought to you by the Last Chance Podcast Network.